yo, yo, what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building with another video. Um, this article comes from the LA Times.com. I put the link down in the description. And as you can see from the title, Michael Jackson's estate embroiled in tax fight with the IRS. Executives say Michael Jackson was worth $7 million when he died. The IRS says it's more like $1.125 billion and wants $702 million in taxes and penalties. Are they serious? Are they serious? Now, I don't, I don't know how y'all feel about it. I know it's a lot of Michael Jackson haters out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those. And I just don't understand why they can't let this man rest. Even after death, they coming after him. No, make no sense. Uh, the spectacle was that Michael Jackson's life shows no signs of abating with his death. There was the conviction of the doctor who gave him the fatal overdose of a powerful anesthetic, battles over his will, attempts to remove the executives of his estate, the wrongful death suit against the promoter of his doomed comeback tour. Now Jackson's estate is in the midst of a fight with the IRS. This this is like really so ridiculous to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how y'all feel about it. I just feel this is a way for the government to profit, you know what I'm saying, and get paid off of his estate, which I think is a bunch of crap. You know what I'm saying? How can the man, his estate, own seven hundred? Oh, seven hundred and two million dollars in taxes and penalties, and then I think it was something like around five hundred and five million is what he owed, and they hit him with a hundred and ninety-seven million in, ta in penalties. This, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous to me. This is just another show of no respect for Michael Jackson, and they still trying to dog him. You know what I mean? And they throwing the estate under the bus. Michael Jackson was one of the greatest entertainers ever. And they still treating him like dirt. You know what I mean? Even after he's in the dirt, they still treating him like that. You know what I mean? So how y'all feel about this, people? I know I don't necessarily believe this particular article and what they're saying. Um, I definitely don't believe that at his death he was only worth $7 million. I definitely don't believe that. But I definitely don't believe he owed that much in taxes and penalties. I just don't believe that. I think this is a, a, a load of crap. And somebody need to be called on it. So hopefully the Jackson estate will get everything in order. And this will turn out to be fraudulent on the IRS's attempt to get paid. So holler at me, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this. This is ridiculous. Peace.